What is up YouTube, Johnny B here again today. We're gonna be bringing you guys a video on the Ford Fiesta ST. We're gonna be doing some more mods to it. We have it right here, right behind me. We're gonna be doing an M Sport brake duct kit. So this is like something that they, they, they whipped up for us. Uh, it comes you know, from various different uh, places, but they got it all together, sent it to us. It comes with some nice little pieces that, that hold the brake ducts on the actual fog light area. So where your fog light would normally be, there's like a really nice fiberglass piece that they make that separates it into two. And then you have two smaller, I think they're like one and a half inch hoses that go together. So, you know, they create like a three inch, but instead of having this big old hose that's taken up all this, all this area with two smaller hoses, you get to like sit them nicely around the frame and then scoop them behind the wheels to where the brake ducts can actually feed air to the brake system. So we're going to try to see how this works. There's no instructions, no one's ever done it before, there's no video on it. You know, the only people that have installed this kit is actual M Sport, which they do for the rally teams. And probably some rally teams have installed it in the past. But the kit is also designed to go with the uprights that go on the M Sport kit and not on the factory ST one. So we're gonna have to find a way to custom fit them so that they work for us as well. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so here we are in the wheel well. One little cool addition you guys probably haven't seen is that we actually put this carbon fiber inner fender liner all the way around just so it seals up on the inside of the fender. We used some aluminum tape in those sections and then flat blacked it. And then now we ordered a little piece that goes here. It's like a bumper extension that goes from this carbon piece down here to this carbon piece up here and it all connects to the bumper. So it's nice, nice and flush. So after doing that, you know, obviously now we are onto the brake ducts. You can see this little piece right here that just bolts or it doesn't even bolt. It just goes straight on to where the fog light would be. And it's on there really good, nice and strong. So from there, we have two lines that we're going to connect. We're going to route like around the oil line. So these are the oil cooler lines. We're probably going to route them around there and then bring them down into this little piece, which I already mounted. And just to be able to show you guys, we mounted it straight to the to the bolt that holds on the coilover. And then on these two sections is where that line is gonna go. And I went ahead and removed the caliper, which is super easy by the way, just two two bolts. That way we can have some, that way we can actually see what we're doing and I can show you guys what we're doing. Um, so yep, now let's go ahead and cut the hose to size, decide how we're gonna route it and then uh, how we're gonna hold it all together. So luckily M Sport makes these pieces to where they just like fit on nice and tight without even needing to hold them on. I'm guessing they do that just to make it easily removable and easily you know, put back on to where vibrations can't really remove them because that thing, I tried removing it and I just, after just test fitting it on there and it does not wanna come off anymore. So that's pretty cool. And it looks, it looks kinda funny from this angle but once you look at it from the front, it looks pretty good. So here we go. I went ahead and routed the hose to the first section. It slips on really nice and it's kind of hard to uh, come off. So we're actually just going to probably zip tie it just so it holds in place. It has a little ledge on it so that kind of keeps it from falling off. Went ahead and routed it in front of one of the oil lines and then behind the other and then it run, runs around and it's going to be going to this top one. I just need to go ahead and cut this off. Uh, it's a little bit hard material to cut it off. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's really strong. With the angle grinder, it has a hard time cutting through it. So that's what I'm gonna be using anyways, because that's probably gonna be the fastest way to cut it. So all that is gonna direct air all the way around and straight in here. And it's actually really good because it's like super flexible and it's it compresses itself really nicely. So this is some good stuff that they, that they gave us directly from M Sport. So right here in this section, we're gonna be mounting to it using some little uh, pieces that they gave us. So I'm guessing this helps direct the airflow a little bit better. They're gonna go in here and they actually get stuck in there really well. So from here, the, this actual hose is gonna go right on this and it has like a little bit of a bevel. So then we can put it on and as you can see, this is giving me a hard time just to put it in. So that's how I know that they're not gonna be coming out. So I'm just gonna leave enough here to where I have this hose to grab onto it. And because the hose doesn't wanna go around this, I'm guessing it kinda of sticks in here, kinda of gets itself stuck. And look at that, I can't even pull that back out. 
So let's go ahead and cut this and then mount it there. So here we are with the routing for the first hose. Zip tied here to, for, to hold it in place, zip tied there so it's not moving all around. And then a zip tie here over the bevel so that way it's not falling out. This section right here is gonna be covered. So that's gonna all be held in place in there. And then this has a bit extra so that way when you turn all the way to the, to the right, so right now it's turned all the way to the left. When you turn all the way to the right, it's gonna go ahead and have that flexibility, which is mainly why they make this stuff like that so durable and flexible. So here we are, got them both on. They go around, zip tie them to the oil line just to kind of keep them in place together. And then they get zip tied right here onto those fiberglass pieces, They're like half fiberglass, half carbon, all kinds of mixtures. And then zip tied to that brake bracket right there. So they go around and straight in. And that's how we're gonna get you know, all the cooling to these big case board. I think these are like eight, eight pot big brake kits or the, big, the whole big brake kit. So it's looking good. The flow is looking nice and even for both of them. We actually put a little bit of a air pressure with the air gun through the outside and tested it and we were getting air pressure over here. That's just with regular compressed air. So imagine when you're driving at a high speed, this is, this is gonna be getting some straight up fresh air. And then since these are two piece rotors, you can probably see in there, watch, let me, the light from the back. There we go, like you can see the light. And that's where the air is gonna be coming through to go ahead and cool these brakes off. So, this is how we installed them. Mounted there with that bracket, zip tied everywhere. This piece is gonna be covered, so we're gonna go ahead and do that next so we can pretty much finish off the inner fender liner. So here's that piece that goes in here. It's kind of like a rubber plastic thing that's like flexible and really strong. I'm gonna line up the holes. As you can see there, the holes lining up pretty good. And I'm gonna be putting some push clips just like we did to the rest of the rest of the inner fender liner. So let's go ahead and put that on. So here is the inner fender piece installed. I use these, these special push clips that I use for all of my uh, restorations or my rebuilds and stuff like that because the OEM ones always end up breaking. But these actually go on, they're really, really good and they have a really good strong hold so I, every time I have to break, break some push clips, I know that I have extra and I can just use these. Uh, I did have to drill the hole for the perfect size for them first in certain areas. Uh, you did see that the ones that were here and here were already pre-drilled. And so were the top ones, I just have to drill into this carbon fiber piece and then go ahead and use the push clips. But it is on. This is also bolted over here. The carbon piece is bolted to the frame so that just holds it all nice and strong and then this bottom carbon piece is bolted to the front bumper so that just gives you all that extra rigidity so here they are this piece is hidden they swoop around here and they go there so now what we did also is test them with the wheel all the way to the right because right now they're all the way to the left and they don't interfere with with anything and they have a nice nice fold so there they are installed we have the m sport big brake kit ducks installed and even though they're not meant for our setup we made it work just with that bolt right there that's gonna be holding that bracket and it's giving us some nice airflow into the case for big brake kit so now I can go ahead and show you what it looks like from here. here it is this is how it looks inside of the fog light area it like separates into two hoses and it's it's kind of looks kind of cool actually like it almost looks like if you do have fog lights, but you don't. That's where they curve. You can see that little wire that they have inside that helps them curve. And then this has a little bit of like a bevel so it guides the air correctly. And it just cools down our brakes. So that's always a very nice upgrade, especially if you're gonna be using the car on track, just to make sure that our brakes stay nice and cool. So we went ahead and replaced the zip ties later on with some clamps after we bought some. So now that they're they're on there clamped on good and they won't be falling off. Uh, not that the zip ties were falling off, but these can give a lot more clamping force on this. So the brake ducts are now installed. 
Now we can get that extra cooling power to both of the brakes in front. Uh, I guess there wouldn't be a air brake cooling kit for the rear, but the, the, the front ones are the ones that you use the most, okay? So you don't need the back ones. It looks awesome. Uh, just looking at, at it through the fog lights, you, how you can see both of the hoses go through there. Looks pretty good. And if you look in the, in the fender wells, you can go ahead and see, you know, the, the lines going to the back of the caliper. That's also really cool. But not only does this look cool, this actually functions really good. And it's exactly the same stuff that they use on the rally cars. So we didn't cut any corners, just getting some generic ones off of eBay. This is directly from M Sport. The kit itself with the brackets and with all that stuff does cost you like a hefty, like $700. But that's typical of any brake duct kit that you would find, for example, for the FRS or for any other car out there. So we got the good stuff. That stuff I tried using just like your regular blade to cut it. It does not want to cut straight through it. So that stuff is really, really hardcore stuff that is meant for off-road use. You know, it's meant for actual racing use. So that stuff is really, really strong. I'm excited to have it installed on the car. Now, as many of you have been saying, is that we just need to test out the car. Like you guys are sad that we're not gonna be rallying it, but we are gonna be doing some autocross with it. We're gonna be doing some track racing with it. And that's definitely gonna help for when we go take it out on track. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more videos on the Fiesta ST. And as always, you guys have a great day.